So I've been watching all the content out there since the ICMR guidelines on protein supplements was released a month ago. It also specified the amount and sources of protein that led to more confusion. Is whey protein needed? How much protein do you need daily? Are protein supplements safe? Can vegetarians make it with plant protein? Let's break down the key concerns stepwise, but wait, watch till the end so you don't miss out on important information. Hi everyone, this is Shweta Bhatia. I'm a registered dietitian and the founder of Mind Your Fitness. Are you looking for evidence-based nutrition advice to improve your health and fitness? If yes, then you've come to the right place. Subscribe to my channel for in-depth discussions on trending health topics, delicious and healthy recipes, and practical tips for sustainable lifestyle changes. Let's work together to build a healthier you. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments below what kind of nutrition information you find most helpful. So how much protein do you really need? Don't fall for the hype. Stop guessing with those random internet formulas. Especially from influencers who wouldn't know a micronutrient from a microphone. A qualified dietitian can help you calculate your needs. So what I do is estimate a minimum protein requirement. Then I add a stress factor if you have increased requirements. Calculations are best left to an experienced expert. ICMR also mentioned two numbers, EAR and RDA. The estimated average requirement EAR and the recommended dietary allowance RDA for protein intake is 0.66 grams per kg per day and 0.83 grams per kg per day respectively for healthy men and women as per the guideline. Now think of them as protein guideposts, not a finish line. We all have different needs. So what are these numbers? EAR is the average daily level of intake estimated to meet the requirements of 50% of healthy individuals and RDA is the average daily level of intake sufficient to meet the requirements of 97.5% of healthy individuals. So obviously they aren't meant for people with medical conditions and metabolic disorders like obesity or those uh, who may be malnourished or athletes who have increased requirements. Modifications have to be provided for those with increased requirements under the guidance of qualified dietitians or as a coordinated effort by dietitians and doctors. So in short, ye guideline sab ke liye apply nahi ki ja sakte. The main concern, whey protein is rich in branch chain amino acids and recent evidence suggests that they may increase the risk of certain non-communicable diseases. You see, whey protein is in dialysis formulas which are given to kidney patients. It's also present in breast milk. So it's far from being unnatural or harmful. Yes, it's processed since it comes in a box, but it's not mandatory if you can meet your protein requirements from first class food sources. And don't bother if someone says, Yaar, you have powder wali body. Banai. Branch in amino acids are used in burns, cancers, liver disorders and kidney disorders. They are found in food. The risk of non-communicable diseases mentioned by ICMR is only partially correct and a qualified clinical or sports dietitian can decide how much you need from supplements. Just because it's good also doesn't mean you should be taking extra. You can watch my YouTube video on branch in amino acids for more information on my channel. Sourcing genuine protein powders. Are brands hiding something? Some brands might be adding unwanted sugars and harmful additives, but don't write off all powders. Look for reputed brands with clean ingredients. I know a lot of brands, got past it recently, but there are reputed brands who observe good manufacturing practices. You can always choose whey in its raw form without any sweetener or flavor. Unsweetened anyone? Let me know in the comment section below if you like your whey raw. What about the protein sources for vegetarians? Hmm, carbs, carbs everywhere. Vegetarians combining cereals and lentils is great, but watch out for those carbs, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Consider adding dairy to improve the quality. Even ICMR says that. Finally, for a deeper understanding, you can watch my videos on the effects of high and low protein intake, including animal protein. Hope you found this information useful. Spread the word by sharing this video. Thanks for watching.